Hi, I'm Jeff Stokes. Welcome to Jeff's Daily Dose of Encouragement. Today I want to encourage you in the Beatitudes in Matthew 5 verse 3 and I'm reading down to verse 16 and it says Blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst after righteousness for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is, hence, it is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and trodden under the foot of men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do men light a candle or a lamp and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick or on a lampstand, and it gives light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. The thing I want to encourage you today about the Beatitudes is each and every one of those, it's a bit like the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5, 23. If you are born again of the Spirit and you truly walk with God and obey Him and are filled with the Holy Spirit, you should really be exhibiting these to some degree. It's not a matter of, it's not a set of rules that you have to try and keep. They are attitudes of the heart which, if we are in Christ, will be placed in us by Jesus. And then we, through these things, become the salt of the earth and the light of the world so that we can have an impact by just by the way who we are and the way we live so that people can taste and see that there's that good taste if you like spiritually I think Paul said that 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 savor that nice savor that we we give off he talked about that that's the saltiness it's not a, it means that we we're not lacking anything and that we're not too much it's just that night you know salt gives a nice balance to flavor doesn't it and, and, and food and that and then we are the light of the world we are the the example if you like of how we're to live and how to follow Christ so that other people can be saved so that's my encouragement for you today concerning the Beatitudes. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him and he in God. And I want to encourage you, I believe it's really a good thing to actually memorize <coughs> that section there, of the Beatitudes. I, I've done that myself. It's a real blessing to continue to uh, recite that daily, to meditate on that, and there's so much in there uh, of a blessing that, that you can really open up into your life and heart so that you can walk in that. I heard of a chap once who memorized the whole Sermon on the Mount. I don't know if I could do that, but and he was in hospital and he didn't have any time, any anything else to do he had all this time on his hands so he memorized the whole sermon on the mount and he literally said it was life changing even just doing that it can be life changing for you god bless you have a great day